Hi all, Nick Silverstein here from Mertz of Corp. And I have something to show you today. Today, I'm going to show you how fast Windows XP runs in the latest version of Merge VM Pro. This is version 23.1.9. It runs really well, and you're about to see the performance on this. I will tell you the specs as it boots up. The specs of this iPad is an M1 iPad Pro 12.9 inch 5th generation with 128 gigs of storage, 8 gigs of RAM, and it's a cellular model. I've given this VM 2 gigs of RAM and dedicated uh, the default number of CPUs to this VM. Uh, the VM has uh, 128 gigs of storage, uh, it's dynamically expanding, and basically it has our branding all over it. It was simply downloaded from the gallery and just download, unzip, and open in our app. It's that simple. I don't want to talk over the welcome uh, music. And this video is completely unedited. The only thing I think we're going to add is music underneath. Okay. Now I just wait till it boots up. Okay, I simply press cancel on these dialogues. There's two to three of them that come up. I could go through and install those drivers, but I'm not going to. So, I click start. I click computer. You can see it's very responsive, much better than even a netbook from... Uh, 2008 or 2010. If I right click on computer and I go to properties, you can see it has a branding in the uh, the, the system dialog. You can see that it's Windows XP Professional Service Factory registered to me. And it's got QEMU CPU 2.5 plus. 999 megahertz and 2 gigs of RAM. You can see that it's very um, fast. If I open up Windows Media Player, you can see that it loads and it runs quite well. You can see that it's very responsive. I can maximize that. I can unmaximize that. I can go, well, the media guy doesn't work because it's so outdated. Copy from CD, that works. If you somehow manage to make an ISO of the CD, it would work that way. Um, you can add music um, to the library. I mean, it just, it works like if this was a PC. Um, skins work, everything works. This is an actual, this is actually Windows XP, not some hack. 
Um, this is actually Windows XP running inside of this uh, VM. It's an actual XP VM. Not some skinned app to look like this. This is actual Windows XP running on the com on the iPad. If I go to the internet, you will see that it does not load any modern website. That's because IE6 is very out of date. But if I load, uh, if I open up the keyboard and I type in W, if I scan that, uh, www.google.com, you can see that google.com loads. And if I refresh it, it will reload again and again and again. I can click on YouTube and it won't load because it's all out of date. Yep, it won't load because it's all out of date. But, you know, it works. This actually does work. If I go to Google Images, I can go to Google Images. It actually works. But if you install a modern browser such as MyPal, you suddenly have a working Windows XP computer. But the whole point of Merge VM Pro is not to browse the internet in here because the iPad is fully capable of browsing the internet. The whole point of Merge VM Pro is to run an app you need to run that only runs on Windows or Linux. It's basically your gateway to Windows without needing a PC so you could run apps that you need to run let's say for work or for play or you want to run a really old game because that might work like I heard Doom works on our app and uh, basically uh, the original Doom um, but uh, you know uh we haven't tested that. We can't verify that. But um, we heard from one of our customers that they somehow got it to work. But my point is the whole point of running this app is so that you have the compatibility of Windows. The compatibility of running something that doesn't run on the iPad, such as Windows or such as uh, Linux. Or you need to run something for work and you don't have a PC. You're able to run Merge VM Pro and then just download Windows, license it, because all our VMs come unlicensed with no uh, product key installed. You need to, during the setup, you need to enter the product key to license the VM. And then once you enter the product key, then the VM becomes licensed. And then it just, it activates via Microsoft. Um, none of these VMs come pre-activated. None of them come pre-licensed. Uh, you have to basically bring your own license. But this is a quick look at Windows XP running on the iPad Pro. Um, I will make a future video showing off how much, uh, uh, like what the hardware is using in the background and how the hardware is showing up in device manager. Alright, I'm going to shut down this VM and you'll see how fast it shuts down. And we'll go back to iPadOS. This app is available on the App Store, and it is it's, avail it's available via mvm.merdsoftcorp.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.